Hi, Steve. Tell us about today's rally. Um, Ed, first of all, this is the first interview in my political career I've ever done in a T-shirt. And if you want to know about the rally, it's right here. I crushed cap and trade at the RGGA on the run rally. And that's what it was about. It was about the regional greenhouse gas initiative on the run as we're beginning to dismantle it in the state of New Jersey and the other nine states. What is RGGI? RGGI, the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative, dubbed today by Herman Cain, by the way, as RGGR, the Regional Greenhouse Gas Ripoff, is a cap-and-trade program first initiated by Enron under Ken Lay back in the 90s as a response to the so-called global warming crisis. And this was initiated back in uh, 2006 and 07 when Al Gore was getting his Nobel Peace Prize and he was getting his Academy Award for, for his film, An Inconvenient Truth, under the allegation that there was this terrible global warming crisis, basically as a way to make money off of a publicly perceived crisis under some promise that's going to reduce carbon emissions and greenhouse gas emissions, which is not going to do. RGGI is nothing more than an Enron-style ripoff that is a sketchy, clandestine, shadowy, secretive, behind-the-scenes, money-making scheme. And today's rally, a year after the first one, uh, one year ago, is designed to, to dismantle this program before it's too late. Why do you want to dismantle the program? You know, because we want to keep America competitive. Uh, we want to keep jobs in New Jersey and in other states and in the Northeast. We want to create jobs. We want to stay an economic powerhouse. And you don't do that by driving electricity rates through the roof for no other reason than to make massive profits for speculators who are politically connected. Um, America needs to remain the beacon of the shining light for the rest of the world. And if we depress, oppress, suppress ratepayers through high electricity rates under some phony claim that we're going to solve some global warming crisis, we're not going to be able to do that. This program, dismantling RGGI, is the first step towards bringing jobs back to the Northeast. Is there any doubt in your mind after the Climategate emails that global warming is a scam? You know, the problem, Ed, is I don't want to get into the argument about global warming. That's not the issue here. Whether or not global warming exists is one question. Whether or not it's man-made is a second question. The real question here is does the RGGI program address the issue in any way, whether you believe it or not? And the answer is no. The answer is that the regional greenhouse gas ripoff uh, is nothing but a way to make money off of this alleged crisis and off of public sentiment with no impact on carbon emissions, does nothing but harm the economy, and nothing but line the pockets of politi politically connected speculators, and that's totally unacceptable. Do you think a government program that did effectively limit carbon emissions would be acceptable? You know, if you look at what happened in Europe with the Kyoto Treaty, while Europe was operating under their phony cap-and-trade program known as the Kyoto Treaty, which George Bush thankfully kept us out of, uh, out of America at the same time was re reducing greenhouse gas and, and emissions at a quicker rate than Europe, actually did a better job through the initiative of the private sector, through people trying to find better ways to be more efficient in the use of fossil fuels and other methods. Look, there's a huge motivation out there to find renewable energy that is uh, environmentally friendly or more environmentally friendly, say, such as solar or wind or God knows what. And it's not a government subsidy. It's called the profit motive. The person who goes out and develops the effective solar panel is going to be the richest person in the world very quickly. That's going to be ultimately what drives innovation and American ingenuity. Does it bother you at all that Governor Christie used Reggie funds to balance the budget last year? No. I'm actually kind of happy that he did instead of using it to pour it into some, you know, uh, liberal green, uh, green initiatives that would then become reliant and have a more vested interest in keeping Reggie alive. One of the things that's happened in the last year is the people on the environmental side who are supporting this program recognize that it's not accomplishing what they want it to accomplish. There's a real opportunity cost here because in the time that's being lost as environmentalists are expecting this Reggie program to produce some sort of results in terms of saving the environment, they're wasting time that could have been used to doing better things. They're a victim of this ripoff just like, just like everybody else is. What's your next step in the Reggie fight? We're working in New Hampshire right now to move a repeal bill. We're working in Maine, and we're launching a major effort in New, in New York over the next week that's going to, I think, have devastating impact on Reggie. You know, taking New Jersey out of Reggie was a major blow. If we pull New York out, which I think we can do, the whole program collapses. What's next on your agenda after Reggie and cap and trade? That's a good question. And one of the things that I've always been involved in for a very long time is the role of New Jersey State Supreme Court in running this state. 
Uh, these black-robed oligarchs have dictated policy on the state level for 40 years, and their involvement in forcing the income tax and education funding, the Abbott decision, Mount Laurel, and other of their radical uh, activist decisions has done a lot of damage to the state of New Jersey. I want to get out there in the field and educate voters on the impact on the state Supreme Court and push for retention elections and constitutional amendments that will end the Abbott funding formula and end Mount Laurel. How can people find you and find more information and support your efforts? Go to TaxpayerMinute.com. Takes you right to Americans for Prosperity's website. Sign up as an activist. Get our newsletters. Take part in events like you saw today or other events that we do around the state and learn what you can do to be a, a citizen who can have a real impact on government. Thank you for being a citizen that really has impacted government, Steve. Thanks. Think you are. Uh, move a little bit to, to, to the right. <laughs>